The old version of PHP built into the Mac comes with the older version, but it should be better to upgrade to a higher version. So what should we do? If you want to learn it, please continue to watch this video. We need to take five simple steps to complete the upgrade. Open the terminal. Enter php make a space dash lowercase v and then plus enter to check the built in installed PHP version. But you can check the PHP info page on the browser. The current version is right on the top section. Open Finder, click the Go button, select Go to Folder, and then put forward slash etc forward slash Apache 2 in the field, and click the Go button. In the Apache 2 directory, there is a folder named Order contains php7.com, which is the current location of the PHP configuration file. Open the browser, go to the search engine. Put in the phrase PHP lib OS X L I I P and enter to search. Select the slippers with this URI. Click on the page link to download the update version of the PHP software packages for OS X, which is an open source program written by the voluntary PHP developers. Click the Apple symbol in the upper left corner menu and select about this Mac to see your Mac OS version. You need to check if the Mac OS version is available for the updated PHP package. The packages will go to the local folder. Scroll down the page to one line installation. The first two are next stable and current stable. I prefer the current one because it doesn't have too many errors. But you can select the version you want and copy the URI. Return to the terminal. Paste the URI then plus enter. Enter your Mac user password to complete the installation. When finished, you will see plus PHP OS X installed in the other folder. So where is the package installed? On the terminal, type where is make a space PHP plus enter. You can see where PHP is installed. Copy the path and go to Finder. Click the Go button, select Go to Folder. Paste the path into the field, then click the Go button. This is where PHP installed. Go back to the upper level directory. You can see the local folder in which the PHP package is installed. The new packager and PHP have been installed in the local folder. If you have downloaded it before, you need to uninstall it first and then reinstall it. On the terminal, type find to find out if there is a Bosch profile. Enter a space tilde which means in user directory, space dash i name by case insensitive name, space dot bash profile with opening closing codes and plus enter. This is the path location of my bash profile file. Let's copy the path directory. Back to Finder, click the Go button, select Go to Folder, paste the path into the field, and click the Go button. This is my user directory, which points to the path. Hold down the keys of Shift, Command, and the grid size together to show the hidden files. You can see that I have the file. Plus the keys Ctrl and C to exit. When in the user directory, type 
ls make a space dash f to list all files with hidden files. You can see the file in it. Enter sudo make a space nano make a space, then copy and paste the path. If the file has been created, it can be modified through path access. Otherwise, the nano editor will create a new one for you. Then plus enter. Enter your Mac user password and plus enter again. Here you can see that I created it at an early time. But you can go back to the page and copy the path, paste it above. When running Apache server, export path indication, the new path of the new version of PHP, plus Ctrl, X, and Y, and hit Enter to exit the file. We need to reset the Apache configuration. On the terminal, type sudo make a space nano make a space forward slash etc forward slash apache2 forward slash httpt.com and then plus enter. Insert your Mac user password and plus enter again. Hold down the Ctrl and W keys and put PHP 7 in the field to help search the command line. Because we want Apache go to the new php.com file, we need to comment the PHP 7 module line to stop running the old version of the built-in PHP configuration file. Copy this line from here and paste for a new module role. You need to adjust the module to PHP 7 and make sure to set it to local PHP 5 directory. Change libphp to the newest version as 7. Go down to the end of the file. Make sure you have this line. The include file path transfers the Apache servers to the other directory and accesses the new PHP configuration file since the old version module has been stopped. Press the keys of Ctrl, X, and Y, hit Enter to save the file and exit. After completion, we need to restart the Apache server. On the terminal, type sudo make a space apache ctl make a space restart and then plus enter. Insert your Mac user password and press enter again. Go to browser, open a new window, and go to your local host PHP info page. You can see that the new PHP version has been updated, or the most latest one. When running a PHP array of curved errors, undefined index, and warning count of this method. If you want to learn how to solve it, please subscribe to Help the Solution channel.